Hi, this is Aaron with Zolotech. Today we're going to take a look at the Microsoft X4 Gaming Keyboard. Now I've used this for about 10 hours, uh, used it at work as a regular typing keyboard, and uh, played around with it some too. Uh, so overall what it is is your normal keyboard, but they've added some really cool options. So first of all, let's just look at the build quality. Overall it's pretty good. Uh, the bottom is pretty standard. You've got your flip out feet, and I showed that in the unboxing. Other than that, pretty flat and you have this little curve for a wrist rest but no ergonomic uh, curve to this keyboard uh, the build quality overall is just like any other Microsoft keyboard although the plastic does feel a little bit um, a little bit different maybe maybe because it's more of a glossy finish uh, feels a little bit um, slippery I don't know but that's that's kind of uh, overall that's it's not a bad thing it's just the type of plastic or the finish on the plastic I think uh, the backlight is red and it's pretty good people asked if I could type on it to hear how loud um, so that's CNN.com I'm not gonna type a whole lot but so overall fairly quiet um, I'm a fairly loud typer, but it's it's quieter some, than some other Microsoft keyboards I've used. Uh, like I said, it's backlit. Uh, you can adjust brightness with this button up here. Uh, you've got, I think, three modes. And um, overall, your stand, it's a standard keyboard, but they've added a couple things. So for, like I said, build is good, standard USB, as you can see up here. Um, they've added some macro keys, a record button for macros, um, and, which is this button right here, you can record a macro of key sets as you input them and save it. You can have up to 18 different profiles of macros uh, adjusted by the software. You hit this button to, to switch between the three. And it also has self-sensing when it goes into uh, different programs. You can set it up. So say you're playing Battlefield 2, an older game, then you want to switch to Modern Warfare 2. It will remember those profiles that you've assigned with the macro keys to do different things. The other big thing on this keyboard is the anti-ghosting. That, what that means is it allows you to hit up to 20 six keys at the same time without them um, uh, acting like they're the same key so you hit the uh, S and D at the same time it's gonna know which one you hit first and you're gonna go back and turn right you're gonna go back first and turn right depending on how you have this set up one of the uh, nice little touches is you normally use these for first-person shooters or to move around W has a little bit, uh, has two little nubs on it, so you know where your fingers are at all times, which is really nice. You normally F and J have that, which they do for typing, uh, but the W has that for gaming as well. Uh, other than that, it's a pretty standard keyboard, but it remembers a lot of really neat things. Uh, but uh, overall, for about sixty dollars, you can have the keyboard. Really nice. Um, well, again, here's your profile settings. I didn't. I don't know if I pointed that out, but that's that will show you your different profile settings and which one you're on. Um, but and your macro keys. Other than that, it's a standard layout keyboard with your volume controls and play for media and that sort of thing. Pretty nice. Uh, couple complaints myself. I have fairly large fingers, but I use a normal Microsoft. Um, ergonomic keyboard at work and these uh, the top of the keys felt a little small to me I kept hitting different keys now that might be because of the lack of the uh, curve but on my Mac computer I don't have the same problem because the keys are a little bit wider on the chiclet keys so if you have uh, normal sized hands you're not going to have that issue but with this particular keyboard if you have larger hands you're going to want to try it out first uh, but overall I think it's a very good keyboard definitely worth checking out um, the features for, especially if you want to use macros, really look into this because it's got, you know, like I said, 18 different macros you can set up. Um, overall, really good, and uh, check it out. It's the X4 Gaming Keyboard, and uh, be sure to check back because uh, we're going to give this away. So, this is Aaron with Zolotech. We'll see you next time.